Hi, this is Quant Namat. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll show you a new feature of PineScript called Tables. With Tables, you can display some useful information on your chart in a really nice way. So previously, if I have to display some information, I use labels. And here I have an example of this kind of scripts. So basically, I created a labels for the last bar. Uh, where I display like three values of three indicators, basically RSI, CCI, and GMI. And as you can see, it's not looking very good. Uh, so first of all, it's it's hard to distinguish between variables. Also, it basically kind of overlap with my candles. It's really hard to position it on your screen uh, so that it will be always visible because it's attached to your last candle. And if you scroll to the left, it will disappear basically. So it's not a very nice solution. And also it's pretty tricky to work with it in the code because you have to create like a text label and you have to think about many things like new lines you have to think about probably separators if you have like a lot of information so information can be readable and in this video will show you a much better way to do that using a new feature tables first let's create a table that will store all our information so for that I will create like a new variable with the type of a table I will call this T and I will use uh, create it using a table dot new function and here I have specified a few arguments so first one is position so um, I will set up uh, my column to be in the right top right corner of our screen so we can use position dot top right for that next I have to specify how many columns uh, do my um, uh, table has and how many rows so I have like three indicators and I needed one column for name and one for value so that's that's basically it so basically now we create our table that's it but now we have to fill our table with values so to do that you can use a um, table dot um, cell function and uh, this function is pretty simple as well so first you have to specify what table do you want to fill it's our variable t and now you have to specify like what uh, column and what row you're filling at the moment so i will fill uh, the first uh, like cell with like just name of rsi so basically it now we can specify also width of uh, this uh, cell you can do this in this is actually it's in percentage terms of your screen resolution and if you will resize your screen also table will resize with it as well so let's copy that and just uh, add another names uh, to our table and now let's create uh, the same uh, function cells values for values of our indicators so i have to fill the first column now and uh, here i will specify my values As you can see, it seems to work. Now we have our table in our top right corner of our screen and um, it seems to work, but it's not looking very good. Fortunately, there is uh, plenty of ways uh, to style your tables and you can do this both on your like table level and or on your cell level. So let's add a bit of styling. So just uh, I will add a BG color. I will use some uh, like light gray to um to fill my uh, like names of um, of my indicators and i will use uh, here for example i will use like um, green color to uh, set for the values and also i will add to my uh, like table i will 